What's up, guys? David here, one, two, two, and it's news day. Ah, yes, it's news day. I don't do these too often because just being a news Yugi channel doesn't. I don't, know, I don't really like that too much. However, if it is something that is pertinent to my interests, then I will talk about it. And today we just got the five new Flames of Destruction FA cards leaked from uh, Konami of Europe on their official Facebook page because. I think low-key DZ have got everyone to go over there and vote to get above the, the limit, to get all of them revealed at once. So now we all have the, 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 the privilege of being able to look at these cards and if we play the deck and be able to say whether or not you like them, which is awesome. Now I do want to apologize for anybody watching this the week that it came out, on the day that it came out, for missing a Top Tuesday, but I had come down with, I believe, food poisoning? So I was spending most of the day sleeping or puking. So, I mean, I guess I could have made a really weird video, but nah, whatever. But without further ado, let's really, Marty, it's every video now. Without further ado, let's go over these cards. I'm super excited to get into these. The first card revealed is a level seven dark machine called F.A. Dark Dragster. This makes me really jealous as a former UA player because we never got the bad guy card. Uh, I'm pretty sure the the hockey dude in Penalty Box was the bad guy, and I think he's the same dude who's driving this car. So the FA's got the bad guy, but the UA's never got the bad guy. What the hell's up that about? But anyway, what does he do? He's a level seven with zero attack and 2k defense. I had to check that really quick. With the following effect. Can I be normal summoned or set must first be special summoned while you control one FA monster whose level is seven or higher. Uh, except himself because you can't control him already. And then you're gonna slap this thing down from your hand. It does, does say must first be, which means if this thing is summoned properly, like a ritual or a fusion or a sync or an XC, once it dies, you can bring it right back with a pit stop or motorhomes effect. So that's, that's uh, just keep that in mind as the wheels are turning here. Just like all the other FA monsters, when a FA spell or trap or effect of a spell or trap is activated, he increases his own level by one. He gets 300 attack per his level, which is great because he gets a, he, he has a head start on the other FAs because he's got the highest level. So that's cool. And once per turn as an ignition effect, you can reduce his level by three and destroy one other card on the field. Basically, he's like, uh, kind of like a half a BLS, but it's a destroy, not a banish. When I first read the card, I was like, oh, it's not a quick effect. That's kind of booty. Sure, he's really big and he might help you make some interesting C plays or interesting synchro plays, being that he's just a higher body. Plus, he might combo with Destrudo in kind of a fun way. So that's also kind of neat. The dream would be able to make Tomahawk in this deck. That'd be, that'd be cool. What the hell was I talking about? I'm already buffed the camera. But anyway, I was, I was saying, at first when I read this card, I thought it was kind of booty, even though it does kind of combo well with being a level seven. However, what uh, what DZ actually brought up in his video, which I thought was actually a good point, was you can use this to pop your own field spell, which that's actually really good. Because at the moment, people are using uh, Ancient Gear, Catapult, or Zodiac Barrage in order to pop your own field spell to get your combos moving but the fact that now we have a monster of our own that actually does that that's actually really neat because uh you know it's in theme and normally when in theme support is doing the same thing as out of theme support normally in theme support is better because it ends up being a little more consistent in the deck because you know the in theme searchers and things can grab it however unlike barrage and catapult he does have to require you to have some sort of setup already as opposed to you know just having a field spell and slapping down the barrage so i don't know you gotta have a monster on the field already established and it's not been veilered or something so i don't think that'll be a huge problem but in play testing i gotta see because you know i haven't actually got to sit down with the card yet but that's just my thoughts on it at first but other than that, I really like the card, and I think it's a, I think it's a solid, at least one of, that you might actually want to play more in the deck, because it does extend your combos. And now we're going to go over the spells and traps, because the second monster is really good, and I want to end the video on a good note. And because of that, we're going to go, we're going to go from crappiest to best at this point. F.A. Dead Heat is a continuous trap that reads, When your opponent declares a direct attack, you can special summon one F.A. monster from your deck. You can only use this effect once per turn. Once per battle, if an F.A. monster battles an opponent's monster, before damage calc, you can both roll six out of die, and whoever gets the higher roll wins. If you, the F.A. player, wins, your guy gets an extra four levels and kills their monster, presumably, because if it boosted four levels, it can probably now attack over whatever was swinging into it. And if your opponent wins the die roll, your monster just dies. Yuck. I'm pretty sure, though, because this happens during damage calc, it doesn't actually cause a replay so that's at least something 
And obviously here, the first effect combos with the second effect. Your opponent's about to attack you directly. You can flip this thing up, summon a dude from the deck, and then they have to attack into that if they choose to, and then you can try to do the die roll cheese to try to not lose a guy. <coughs> this is probably the best way of getting, uh, what is it, Whip Crosser, the level six? It's a five or a six. I don't even remember because I literally never play it. Out of the deck and out of the field and actually losing his effect, because if I remember correctly, his effect's actually kind of cool. I really don't remember what it does because I literally never look at it. That is so bad. But again, that means you're playing this bricky card in order to summon another bricky card from your deck, and I think that's kind of bad, but it is an option for you. But I think the better target would be in a pinch navigator because you can hit the field and grab a seal, grab a field, uh, grab a field spell, which lets you kind of maintain some advantage. And I mean, she has a graveyard resurrection effect anyway, so that kind of makes some sense. And you know, your opponent didn't actually get to hit you for any battle damage anyway so hey that's kind of cool would you run the card i don't really know my biggest problem with the card is it summons monsters from your deck when you are in a losing position and that just i have a big problem with building a deck when you're putting in cards that are automatic contingency plans like you don't want to build your deck assuming you're going to be losing even if you know your deck's bad you want to be assuming that your deck is working and functioning and when it doesn't you try to figure out why you don't try to put more crap in it to fix when it's not working. That just makes it inconsistent and, and bad. So, I, I don't know. I, I don't like the idea of it being a trap card. If it was, I don't know, a continuous spell maybe, you could use a little proactively, even though it, would, it wouldn't work on an opponent's direct attack. But you have to, you'd have to change the effect a little bit. But even still, you know, that's my problem with the card. So, I don't know. And the dice roll is inconsistent and, and wonky. It's whatever. Man, Konami has no faith in FA whatsoever. FA Overheat is a trap card as well. This one's a normal trap. And it's also one of those stupid ones that only works when you're losing. If only your opponent controls a monster. Yuck. You can activate this card and special summon one FA from your hand. Another great way of getting that stupid level 6 on the field, which is actually probably the only target you'd ever want to use for this thing because my biggest problem with this card is if you set this card and passed and then you had a valid target in hand in order to activate it, why didn't you just summon the target during your turn? Why did you just hold it and set this card? That just seems like a really bad play. This card does not let you do very much setup, which is kind of what the effect would imply it's for. Instead, it ends up kind of being relegated to I'm in a bad position. Uh, I don't know, I don't have max C anymore, so it doesn't really work. I'll just wait till my next next turn, and then I can just flip it when I want and get my place. That's just super slow. I don't really like that at all. Despite the fact that the monster it is in summoning from the hand does get to increase its level by three, meaning it comes out with a bit of a boost for the, for the duration of the turn, which is kind of okay and neat, I guess. It goes along with the, the deck, I suppose. But the graveyard effect is actually the one you'd probably care about, and this is the, like the only FA card that has a graveyard effect that can be like, you know, sent from the graveyard to the banished pile in order to activate, can actually, that it can actually do it the turn it's sent there, like, unlike all the quick play spells. So that's kind of neat, I suppose. If there is no field spell in your current field zone, you can banish this card from your graveyard to activate a field spell from your hand or graveyard. Being that this is a trap, and it is still a trap in the graveyard, you can use this on your opponent's turn, which does kind of lend you to in some interesting plays, getting, you know, the appropriate field spell during the appropriate phase at the right time in order to throw off your opponent or make them miss a targeting effect or some other hooey. So that's kind of neat, I suppose. But again, I don't really think this is what the deck needed because I find myself tending to have too many field spells in my hand and not enough monsters. So something that gets me more field spells, it's, it's, it's not... It's not what I want right now. All right, this could have been the worst card or the best card. I really can't tell, but it's certainly the funniest. FA Winners! Uh, FA Winners is a really, really cheesy continuous spell that reads, if you control an FA monster, this thing can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. All right, that's cool. Being a continuous spell means it's got a big MST bullseye written all over it. So that's fine, I suppose. Why do I keep saying suppose like that? When your FA monster does battle damage to your opponent, when its level is five higher than its original level, not level five, but five higher, so like a nine for most of them, you can banish one card from your hand field or graveyard. Now, when I first read this, I was like, you could banish one card from your hand field or graveyard. And then I paused, took a breath, assuming that there was more to the effect. Like this was the first thing you do, and then you do something else, kind of like, Fathomer or the other true kings, but no, there's a period. Yep, you just you attack and you banish a card out of your hand. Why would you ever want to do that? Well, it's for the second effect. 
three of your FA field spells are currently banished, and they are banished by this card's effect of different names. So you got to have at least one of each. You win the duel! Oh, a cheesy alternate win condition is not what my combo control synchro spam deck needed. No, it can win on its own by playing big, hard to kill monsters that can punch real hard. Not by this cheesy neg myself until I win strategy. Uh -huh. ah. But hey, it certainly would be the funniest damn thing to do at a locals. And everyone would just be like, hey, winner! So you know what? I challenge you guys to actually build the deck around this card. It could be hysterical. And last but not least, the card that actually makes me want to keep the deck, F.A. Dawn Dragster. They got another Synchro Monster, which is cool because it's like a Synchro Spam deck. So, duh! And they keep making these F.A.'s generic Synchro Monsters, which I feel like could be dangerous down the road, but their effects are... They're, they're pretty stuck in the deck. Well, at least Motorhomes was. This one, not so much. Dawn Dragster is a level 7 light machine with zero attack and 2k defense. Because cause skill drain is your worst enemy. This card gains attack equal to its level times 300, like they all do. It also has that same boost its own level when a spell or trap of the FA variety or effect of a spell or trap of the FA variety is activated. Once per turn, when your opponent activates, a spell, trap, or the effect of a spell or trap, you can reduce this card's level by two and negate that effect. And if you do, destroy that card. Oh yeah, he's a good old fashioned magic jammer combo seven tools of the bandit. That is actually fantastic. And as a generic level seven synchro, that it's just a, a spell trap negation ability. That's actually just, just screw FA, screw that stupid deck. This card, <laughs> This card will most likely see play in other people's crap just because it is a solid option to just cap off a board with. Like, oh, my opponent is going to hit me with that, with that, uh, what's the stupid trap name? Evenly matched. Oh, I'm going to worry about that even, no, Dragster's got my back. Obviously, he's less effective in a generic sense because he's not going to get any level boosting from like the field spell and stuff. So he's going to get low on attack points pretty quick. So he's not going to be very useful as a monster in another deck. But he'll at least be uh, useful as a, a source of making your opponent waste resources, which is probably ultimately better anyway. Because at first he's in defense mode with 2k and they still got to deal with it. So there's always that. Anyway, guys, that was my initial thoughts as I've been mulling this over for a few hours. Sitting here, pouring over the cards, trying to figure out whether or not I like them, I hate them, or they're like the, the funniest, most ironic support ever. And let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of the new FA cards and what you guys are hoping maybe the Vendreds are going to be doing because they never get any love in these leagues. And remember, guys, if you don't troll them out of who will, I will see you guys next time. Oh, hey losers, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Wanna watch something else? Hurry up and choose one of these. Ugh. When are you gonna make a choice? This year would be nice.